Ha. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You know, that's such an amazing quote from Napoleon Hill. And it seems so simple, doesn't it? But most don't understand this. 99% of people don't understand this. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Most of us don't truly believe that we can manifest our desire. Most of us don't. Most of us hope that we can, or we kind of believe that we can. But most of us don't 100% believe that we can manifest our desire. So let's think about it. Conceive. I truly believe that whatever you want to manifest, you can. The universe wouldn't give you the idea if you couldn't. Everything around you, from your phone to this microphone that I'm talking into, to your car, your house, your rug, your toothbrush, your, your tiles, your necklace, your makeup, or whatever, all of it was an idea in someone's head. That's how it was manifested in the first place. An idea will manifest. I mean, look around at all the things that have manifested from a, a screw to a bolt to a door to, you get the point. Everything in this world that is man-made at least was once someone's thought. And could you imagine a hundred years ago, if you were to say, hey, I have this idea for this device that can talk to someone from across the world. People would have been like, dude, you're crazy. Maybe 200 years ago. Time's kind of going fast. I don't know if that even existed back then. 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago. You probably would have been hung for being a witch or something. It's crazy how a lot of the times we, we get ideas in our head and we think it's impossible. But the truth is, it's just not believed yet. It's just that as a society right now, we don't truly believe it because the way society is set up is kind of like a hive mind. So whenever you conceive something, no matter how crazy it must seem, I believe that whatever you want to manifest, you can. Because the universe or whatever this is that we're in wouldn't give you the idea if you couldn't. Belief. Let's talk about belief. Belief is the most important part because you must believe in order to manifest. You see, this reality that we're in, this universe, this playing field, runs off belief for whatever reason. That's why some people will see ghosts, some people won't. They can be in the same house, the same haunted house, so to speak. Some will see stuff, some won't and it all goes based off of your belief and so whatever you believe you'll manifest this is why i kept saying that i don't know if you guys remember that one guy um man what was his name the guy who had the one million dollar challenge for all the psychics i can't think of his name but he said or anyone with any mystical ability I, he said i will give you a million dollars if you can prove to me that there is anything mystical about you, your powers or anything. And I said, he's, no one's gonna get it. No one is going to get that million dollars because this guy, his belief is so strong of being a skeptic about anything mystical in life that he, unless your belief, so to speak, is way more powerful than his, no one's gonna get it. No one will, and no one did. And I knew that because the belief is so powerful, so powerful that we literally create our belief. And that's why it's very important to check yourself frequently. What do you believe in? Does this belief match what you want? Because a belief has no stronghold other than what you give it. So a belief is not truth. And I think a lot of us think that. I think we believe that our beliefs are truth. 
but a belief is just your truth and the truth is malleable and it can change so really check yourself are you believing the right things because belief is the most important part because whatever you can believe you can achieve so let's talk about the achievement of your desire you see your achievement of your desire only comes when the full belief is there and the full belief comes through repetition you see the more you see what a belief is in the first place is a thought that is thought over and over and over again that's it a belief is a thought that is thought over and over and over again and to believe it to be true and so what you must do in order to have the achievement of your desire is you must think about your desire long enough frequently enough until you actually believe it's true you become delusional in a sense you believe that it exists already you believe that you have it so much because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real or what's imagined it's true look it up if you stand on the edge of your stairs never mind don't do that i'm gonna get someone killed <laughs> if you close your eyes and you imagine yourself on the top of a building imagine yourself most people have a fear of heights so if you don't have a fear of heights this is not gonna work but imagine yourself on the top of the burj khalifa in dubai and you're just hanging off the edge of it just hanging for some reason no parachute your hands might start to sweat you might start to feel anxious you feel like you're already there because your brain doesn't know what's real or what's imagined and this is the same thing when it comes to visualizing so when you visualize what you want your brain doesn't know that you actually don't have it yet and so it starts to change its neural pathways in order to believe that you already have it and when you believe that you already have it is when it actually comes so you must have repetition in order for your achievement for your desire to manifest in your life when the full belief is there and only when the full belief is there is when you manifest your desire and to manifest your desire you must have repetition with believing that you have it through visualizing and through imagining that it's in your life right now so whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve so comment down below what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one